guys? This is Bass Indiana. I got Mike here, and we're gonna do, be doing a, um, a tackle box. What's in our tackle box? Here we go. All right. So first review we're gonna be doing is over our soft plastics. Good base for winter, spring, fall. Usually they hit them all year round. I mean, good base to resort to. Last resort baits. All right. So I like to get the Z-Man Ella's Tech Ten Times Tough Crawl Ads. They're uh, the green pumpkin with the orange claws. They they're pretty efficient baits. Um. I mean, not too long, probably I'd say three inches. Their claws stick out. They're amazing underwater. The favorite rig I like to rig these with, probably Texas rig. I mean, you could Carolina rig it, but Texas rigs always work for me. Testicles. <laughs> Test <laughs> Texas rig always works for me. Oh, well, those people. <laughs> All right, next up we got the, um, the Crazy Lakes Chigger Crawl. I just got this yesterday. Um, it's in a uh, black red fleck and it's four inch at 10 centimeters. Uh, I'd say the best hook for this is a, is a, uh, crap, I forgot what I was gonna say. Carolina rig. No, I'll turn away at it. Look. Texas rig. Four eye. Four out's probably uh, real good. Um, you can rig these bad boys pretty good. You can do a drop shot, jig head, Carolina rig, Texas rig, and a wacky worm. So. All right, my my second favorite bait, probably uh, baby fluke, super fluke. I like zoom bait. So, I mean, these catch a lot of baby bass. They're greenish with a tan color. They got, I don't even know, they got like these sparkles on them. These also I like the Texas rig, but mainly our Carolina rig, these flukes, they catch fish efficiently, man. They're pretty good baits. Um, and this last bait I forgot to show. This is the tear crawl. It smells terrible, but that's good. Ooh, it smells like shrimp. But the uh, <laughs> my uh, second favorite bait is the Strike King Finesse Worm Green Pumpkin. What kind of rig do you rig them with, man? One favorite soft baits. I like the red shad tail. And they're, I get the super salt from the Zoom Bait Company. Man, they're pretty good worms. You could, you could do basically any rig you want with these. I like Carolina rig especially. But oh, they smell horrible. Like I said, they're the super salt. So I mean. They smell them underwater pretty boo. They're nasty. Um, next we got the Strike King finesse worms. Um, uh, these are green pumpkin. Yep, and these work all year round pretty much. Winter's great. I like the wax worm in Texas rig. And that's what they look like. You can Nico rig, wacky rig, anything. Mm -hmm. So probably my all time favorite um, soft bait. Little tackle box. Um, yeah, we like to use a, a lot of jigs when we soft bait, so we don't just put them on hooks or anything. We we usually do a certain kind of jig or setup. But... Um, and this is another crawl dead. I think it's Strike King. I'm not really sure though, so I don't have them in the thing. Yeah. 11 inch um, curl tail worms. They're, they're good baits, good baits, man. You just gotta rig them right, and they're good baits. And these um, tubes, I love using them, these on uh, drop shots. Back to my uh, my worm that I showed you guys, the Zoom Red Tail Shad. Red Tail Shad color. I got this favorite setup I like to use. There's a little spoon. I got a little spoon setup on like probably a two inch liter, and then I got a Texas rig hooked up to it, so when it's underwater, it's, I don't know, you could say it looks like a worm chasing like a minnow or something, but it works good. It's it's a good bait. And the last bait I have in my soft baits are, um, well, I have two more, but we like to use ribbit frogs. Good top water for bass in the fall they time. They fall really slow, so they they can be they can swim underwater and top water, and then I love my bat elbow grubs. All right. Next up, we're going to uh, top water. 
gonna do poppers, frogs, a lot of stuff. Yeah. Topwater's favorite fall bait. Favorite fall bait. Start off with poppers. Poppers are they're a really good bait. I mean, honestly, you could use poppers and for bass, for tarpon, for anything. It's a good ocean bait. Good like like I said, I love these poppers. This is a nice it's Rapala gold, golden Rapala popper. Kind of looks like a sunfish. Looks like a dead sunfish on top of the water. We got a frog popper, green and black. Pretty good, pretty good. We got this really old popper. These aren't like the other ones. This has a big little spoon in the front, and then a trailer treble hook with two trebles in the front, and some some green eyes, red front. Good good bait for big bass. All right, next we got frogs. Frogs. This is um, this frog has little legs. I can't really remember which um. This is a lunker frog. That's what it is. It's a lunker frog. Um, good for catching a lot of big bass. And then we've got a bunch of booyah, booyah frogs, pad hoppers. These work really great in the summer. Um, here's another booyah frog. It's like a twin. Um. This frog, this is a Rapala. Another booyah frog we have. Great for when the sky's um, blue and white. All black when the sky's blue and white. And we got another one. Can't really really remember this one. This is just a this one a little cheap one, but it catches fish. Um, next up we've got another frog. This one's a little bit. This one's like flaky. If you can see that. And then last one, this frog's very natural and has legs. I think someone gave this to me, but I can't remember what it was. And then next next one, this is also topwater. This is a rebel topwater frog. And the way this works, when it goes across the water, it sits like this. So when the bass comes up and eats it, it hits the that bottom treble hook right there. Here's the All right, man, ready. And then last on the top water we got um well second to last uh, spook. This is a um held in spook. It's probably about four and a half inches. Great Fish small mouth. Great small mouth. Okay. And then last up we got this um this is a uh this is a strike king buzz bait. Worked great. Got big a bass, big bass. Got a four pounder. Yeah, um, in the summer off this. Not this exact one, but this kind. Alright guys, my favorite part about this video, my favorite lure. Spinner baits. Good, good baits. Especially in the summer, they hit them hard. Um, if I had to choose favorite color, I'd probably go green and red, or white and red. One of the two. I'll show you my favorite two that I just mentioned, the green and red and white and red. Here's a green and red. Real good, real good bait, right there. Especially when the water's real blue. And this right here, when the water's green, more greenish. I like to like to use white and red. Nice big flasher on the back. Um, but I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten spinner baits right here, and I've got about ten more at home. They're, they're my favorite baits, man. I'm telling you. Uh, the next spinner bait is this is my spinner bait or my favorite spinner bait. I traded this one, and this is a small one. Works good for crappie, too. Smaller spinner baits are good for crappie. Um, and the next one, I love blue and white. That's my favorite color when I fish. Blue and white, blue and black. That's the next. Um, next one. This, um, this spinner bait has a propeller. propeller and a little shiner on it, so that one works good. And then I found this one. Bass fishing in Missouri, hanging on the tree. It's great. It has double blades. And my last one is um, this double baited crank crankbait or spinner bait. Mm, dummy said like crankbait. We got um rattle traps. Rattle, rattle traps. Let's go. Woo! Man, these are not my favorite bait. I just took them on some shorts too. I love them. All right. So first up, we got a. Um, let's see. We'll start with this one. Ooh, we're hyper. Let's get it. Alright, I'm gonna start off with my uh, Shiner Shad Rattle Trap. Blue and silver. Uh, two nice four hot hooks on there. 
Good hooks. Also got me another, uh, I don't even know what this would be. It's kind of like the other one, but instead of silver, it's like a tannish color, blue and tan. But it's pretty good. Got a nice rattle in it. All right, I got uh, my favorite base. Couple of shots. Uh, first this one, found this one in Missouri. It's a pretty nice one. Uh, second up, this, uh, I don't know, this is like a citrus color. That's pretty nice. Um, this is a Rapala. Actually, no, this is a Mizuho. I thought this was a Rapala, but it's not. Um, this is one of my small rattle traps. And then the last rattle trap that I have is... No, you got two more. Oh, yeah, I do. It's this guy right here. And then I got my last fish of the year on this guy right there. It's my favorite, one of my favorite lures. It's like an orange, it looks like a brown trout, kind of. Okay. Forgot my jerk baits at home. So, but we're going to be doing reviews on his because he's got probably like 50 of these things and it's ridiculous. Alright, so we got our jerk baits and swim baits. Okay, so first up, we'll start with, we'll start with the uh, longer ones. Oh, God. Hooks everywhere. Alright, so we got this one. This is probably like six or seven inches and it's, it's a pretty big jerk bait. I mean, you're going to have to be fishing areas with big bass to catch fish with this. Then we got this one. This is this is sweet. It looks brand new. Did you just buy this? Mm. The trick bait. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, this one's awesome. It's kind of kind of see through. It looks like a silver shad. Kind of see through and has rattlers in it. That's pretty cool. And then the next one. This is this one looks like kind of like silver shad, but kind of like silver shad, but it's pretty nice. And then this one looks like a little shiner. It's pretty cool. It's kind of blank. It has a black spine and then silver and everything else. So at the bottom it has like an orange tint to it and then it has a black dot in the middle. Can you see that black dot? Got that on both sides. Alright, and then next, these are my favorite size jerk baits. Um, yeah, so about three, three inches to three and a half inches. Damn it. Okay, these are my favorite jerk baits. Um, so three inches, three and a half inches. First off, this one doesn't have a front hook on it, but it's a about a rattle. It's got a rattle inside. Um, next up, we've got this one. This is a shiny one. It's a Rapala. And on the other side, this one's like a uh, it's kind of like a watermelon type. It's pretty nice. And then this is also one of my favorite baits right here. This is. This is a star shiner. It's nice. And then my smaller my smaller jerk baits. I've got um, this one. This is called a scatter wrap countdown. It has it's a it dives pretty deep, but I like it. And then I have my baby my baby jerk. Baby jerk. Right Thanks for watching um, Bass in Indiana, what's in our tackle box. Um, Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, anything, comment suggestions on videos you'd like to see, and we'll post them. Alright, thanks. Right on.